Okay guys, I thought I would do a camping packing vlog for y'all. Uh, just gonna kinda show y'all what we all take when we go camping. So this is a big, long gray box. I believe my dad got us this for Christmas and it packs the majority of our main camping supplies. So I'm gonna open this up. I haven't looked in it since last year, so I don't remember what's all in here. So we're gonna see what's in there. And then that over there is my husband's coveralls. So those are for the nights that we go camping when it is extremely cold. We've gone when it has been as cold as 20 degrees. A lot of years it's in the 30s or 40s. This year the low is actually only like in the upper 50s, I think. Uh, maybe mid 50s so he may not even need his coveralls but he takes those in case it is a freezing cold night I do not have a set of coveralls yet I was gonna get some this year but since it's not supposed to be extremely cold I didn't worry about it this year so let's go on and see what is in the camping box okay so this is all I have in it right now a lot of our supplies isn't in here um, but this is what we have right now this is a four person tent and this is the tent that we normally use. It looks just like this orange one right here. This is a tent we normally use. My dad actually gave us a tent um, that he no longer uses. And it is huge, way bigger than this one. It even has like a screened in area like on the outside where you can open it up and put chairs and you can sit in it. Um, it's almost like a little porch area. And then there's another zipped up place that you go through and then that's the area you sleep in. Y'all will see that in my camping vlog this year. Um, it's a massive tent. We're probably going to take this one just in case for some reason. You, you never know. We probably won't be using this one this year. Also, y'all, <laughs> this is a Mad Lib book. And this is a book we have used every year. It's just like the children's Mad Libs. But y'all, this is an adult-only camping trip. So to make it more fun, we have turned regular children's Mad Libs and we make them into adult version Mad Libs. Does anybody else do this or are we the only crazy ones? I probably will not be vlogging this portion of the Mad Libs that we do um, in our camping vlog because it's a little R-rated, but we have fun with it. So I always take the Mad Lib book every year we go camping. And of course, you gotta have a pen. Okay, this is a set of gloves that we have and these are like work gloves. So my husband uses this when he's like finding firewood or chopping firewood or whatever. So those are his uh, work gloves. He also has another second pair of gloves. You can technically use these to work in. They've gotten pretty old and dirty and dingy, but he uses, uses these also just for when his hands get cold. We found this little lantern. It's like an LED lantern. We got it really cheap at Walmart last year. I don't even know if it still cuts on. Let's see. Oh, it does. And it's actually very bright. We put this in our tent at night when we're like changing into our PJs or trying to just see anything. It's really bright. It's bright enough to read a book if you wanted to. So um, we bring this. This is a little plastic LED lantern for our tent. Then we got this really big flashlight last year, and I think this is an LED flashlight. And don't even know if this still works. I hope so, because I was not planning on buying like a ton of batteries this year. Um, so let's cut this on and see. And it is very bright. So this one is still good for this year. And we use that when we walk like um, to the chapel in the middle of the woods at night when we go hiking or when we walk down to the restroom. Okay, then we have another flashlight. This is just kind of a medium size to small flashlight. And I don't believe the battery, well, no, the battery cuts on, but barely. Might need new batteries for that this year. Okay, then this is a glow stick. Um, my husband bought a set of glow sticks last year. This is one that he had left over. And so, I guess if you just wanted to be able to see extras, like a light stick, a yellow light stick, I guess if you wanted to see something easier or whatever, you can use that. We have that. And then, uh, this is my husband's machete that he uses to help um, him when he goes to look for, like, firewood and all that good stuff or move stuff around on the fire. And this is like a little uh, scooper if you're, like, moving um, ashes in the fire or whatever else. I don't even, it's like a little hand shovel. I don't even think he used this last year. It still has the tag on it. Um, but we have that just in case. This was actually a s'more maker and we have turned this into also a hot dog maker. Y'all, it's almost like it's made for hot dogs. You can put hot dogs in this and close it down and hold them over the fire and cook like a bunch of hot dogs at one time. 
This thing was really nifty. That came in handy. And then this is a very old saw for sawing wood. And it's, as you can tell, it's been spray painted. It's rusted. It's not even that sharp anymore, but, you know, better than nothing. Okay, we also have two sleeping bags that we're going to bring. This is just one we use every single year. Um, and so that's one sleeping bag. We had another one exactly like it, but the zipper broke. So my dad got us a new sleeping bag this year. He actually um, got that as one of my Christmas presents and just went on and gave it to me early because we needed it. It's already in the back of the truck, so I'm not going to bring it out. Um, and then we have the new tent that he gave us as well, and it's in the truck, so I'm not going to bring that out. So we take two sleeping bags, um, and then we actually also take one suitcase. So some people think it's kind of strange to take a suitcase camping, but... I mean, we take a pretty good bit because you never can have enough stuff, even if you're just going camping for one night. You never know if it might just rain. And the weather's unpredictable. It may end up being freezing. It may just rain. So we always take extra things. So I'm going to show y'all what all I'm going to be packing in our suitcase. Okay, so in this upper pocket, we just take underwear, and we usually just take a couple extra pair. I mean, you never know. And then we usually take three extra pairs of socks each. Of course, we'll wear a pair down there. And then we have three extra pairs of socks. I actually am bringing two fuzzy socks, one of my Christmas pairs, and then just a regular pair because these are really, really thick and warm. These will keep my feet warm at night. Then just have a regular pair of socks. Um, and then my husband has three extra pair. And then I'm going to bring him a pair of pajamas. And these are just some really thick, um, they're almost like fleece-lined pajama pants. They're really thick. And then a long sleeve shirt to go with it. And then that's what he'll probably wear to sleep at night. If he's extra cold, he has been known to sleep in his coveralls on really frigid nights. If it's not just super cold, he can always um, just wear like a hoodie over that if he's just like a little cold. Um, but this should um, be good enough for him to sleep in with it being, you know, just in the 50s. Okay, and as far as for myself, I bring a pair of leggings because if it gets really cold, I put these underneath my sweatpants or my blue jeans or whatever I have on, and these help keep my legs really warm. Then I take a really thick pair of sweatpants, and I wear those usually when I go to bed at night or once it gets really, really cold. Like I said, if I get too cold, I'll put leggings on underneath this. Then I have a long sleeve, like thermal underwear type shirt. It's kind of thin. Usually it's good enough to keep me warm. Um, on a nights where it's not too cold and if it's really cold I'll wear a sweatshirt over this or a hoodie or something like that to go to bed in and here's my sweatshirt I usually will take a sweatshirt to wear over this uh, thermal underwear shirt when I go to sleep at night if I'm kind of cold okay so here's a thick pair of sweatpants for my husband like I said he'll put these on over his blue jeans or if it gets too cold or when he goes to bed at night, he may just change into these because they're softer, they're warm, and they're comfortable. And then I'm just taking a regular uh, short sleeve t-shirt. Um, nothing special, but like when I get up the next day, it's probably going to be a little bit warmer that day. So I can just wear short sleeve shirt with my blue jeans or um, that I'm wearing the day before or like my leggings or whatever. So take an extra short sleeve shirt. I'm also going to pack my husband a long sleeve shirt. It's a kind of a thick shirt, but not too bad. But it's long sleeves, just in case he wants just one long sleeve shirt on. I mean, trust me, when you get out there, you really don't know what you're going to feel like wearing. Uh, we don't know how much we're going to go walking and sweat or how cool it's going to be at night in the woods. So we just take a little bit of everything. And if we don't wear it or get it dirty, then that's fine. We'll just come back and hang it right back up again. But this is a long sleeve shirt that he can put on. Um, if he wants that, I'm not going to pack his hoodie yet, whatever hoodie he decides to wear because he has several and I'm not sure which one he's going to want to bring. And I may even bring one of his too, cause he has quite a few really thick ones. So I may bring uh, one for me as well. And I'm not going to pack that yet because I don't know which one he wants to bring and, um, then which one he'll want me to bring. So I will just pack that later on or at the last minute. Okay, so I think that's everything clothes-wise. I did pack him one more short sleeve shirt at the last minute just if he needs an extra shirt for the next day. Um, but I think that's everything clothes-wise that we can fit into the suitcase. It all, it'll be a little tight, but it all fits. Um, like I said, the only thing I need to pack at the last minute or take at the last minute will be a hoodie for him. And if I want to bring one, we're also going to take our pillows, which as you can see are way at the back behind all of those slew of pillows. So we do take a pillow and then... We also sleep on cots. We have two fold-out cots, and they're in our storage house, so we'll grab those at the last minute. 
Also at the last minute in this little zip up pocket right here, um, we're probably gonna bring our toothbrush and toothpaste. I usually bring um, a little bit of my makeup, even though you know out in the woods it's not really that big of a deal to put makeup on, but I usually pack um, face wipes to wipe my makeup off at night and then I may just reapply like foundation or something in the morning. Sometimes I don't at all, but I bring it just in case. I also am going to be packing two washcloths um, to put in there as well, just in case we need to wash our face or anything else. Oh, and I'm also going to be bringing my phone, of course. I usually will vlog on my phone. I'm going to bring my phone charger. There's not like electricity out there. I don't even get cell phone service for the most part. But I'm going to be bringing my charger to hook up in the car to charge my phone. And since my phone sometimes only holds so much memory of footage, I may also take my computer, um, my laptop, just have it completely charged so that I can possibly upload any footage I have from my phone to my camera. And then I can just delete it off my phone and then continue vlogging. Okay, I also take these boots right here. These are uh, super, super comfortable and warm boots. They have like a fur around the top. They're really cute plaid. And then they're like rubber at the bottom. So we go walking in a creek that's, you know, usually a couple inches of water in it. And so these are waterproof at the bottom, but they're really warm. They're just super thick on the inside. They would just keep your feet really, really warm. And um, they're really comfortable. So we go, I go hiking in these and everything else so i take those my husband also has a pair of boots not exactly like these they're kind of different but he has them on at work today so i can't show you his boots okay i also take another pair of shoes i usually will wear like somewhat of a cute pair of tennis shoes down there but once i get there and actually start walking through the woods and doing things i take them off for the rest of the trip and i bring these old adidas shoes as you can tell they are dirty dingy um, they've been washed and you can't even tell. They're dirty, dingy, they're tearing up, they're ragged, but you know what? These are shoes I mow grass in, I go camping in, because I don't care anything about these shoes. They're already so old and worn out, and when you go camping, you really need to take a pair of tennis shoes that you just don't care anything about. So I take these old ragged tennis shoes, and my husband usually will wear a pair of tennis shoes down there as well that he just doesn't care as much about, and then like I said, he'll take his boots as well. Okay, I also take my big, thick winter coat. This is a huge, really long, really thick um, brown winter coat. It's got fur around the top of the hood, but it's really warm. So if I get too desperate, I put that on. And then I take a pair of gloves. These are really, really thick gloves. Keep my hands warm. And then I take a hat for my head and I pull it down over my ears if I get too cold. And then I take my husband a hat as well. But that's all of the clothes and the main supplies that we bring and what we use to sleep on at night and all that good stuff. So I hope this video was somewhat interesting. I've never done one of these camping packing videos before, but I just kind of wanted to show y'all how we pack and what all we take and all of that. Maybe once I get the um, truck all loaded up Friday when we go, I'll show y'all everything because it, it looks like a ton once we have it packed up we've tried to get more organized over the years so it's not just like crowded stuff but we take a pretty good bit of stuff because even though it's one night you can never be too sure we go camping way out in the middle of nowhere so you're nowhere near a store so it's better to be safe than sorry and pack everything that you could possibly need but i hope you guys found this video somewhat enjoyable and i will just see you guys later bye